thank you everyone for being here. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Tim Sessions. I'm the Director of Client Services and I host the Tips and Tricks call every month. I've been doing it for several years. So if you're new around here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, hello, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, with our national campaigns real quick, we got a few of them coming up with the registration dates uh, or the sign-up dates getting fairly close. Um, I do have this a little bit backwards. I think I have Father's Day first and then Mother's Day coming up next. But as you can see on the screen, the run dates are for about a solid month between May and June. We give away $2,000 to dedicate towards dad because it's the national promotion. There is a guaranteed winner of that $2,000. But if you'd like to tack on some local pricing to help sweeten the pot, then we definitely uh, encourage that. What we provide is contest execution, $2,000 prize, the rules, all, application, all applicable winner paperwork and tax information and generic images. Um, Signups for that close on May 10th. So you have a little bit of time to work out a strategy and see if that's something that you would like to register for. Like I said, I did get a little backwards here. So Mother's Day is actually coming up a lot sooner with the sign up closing April 5th, but it's actually the same campaign as the Father's Day one, but this one is branded towards Mother's Day. Um, and everything I mentioned previously is also available for the Mother's Day giveaway. The run dates for that are April 10th to May 10th. So again, about a solid month for that as well. And then we are doing our 2023 Summer Cash Contest. This one is utilizing our countdown application. Now, last year, we did get some feedback about um, how we have shortened it. And we understand with keyword contests that the ramp up period for participation might be a little bit longer than what you are used to with other keyword campaigns that you run outside of our national campaign. However, we are keeping this one at a week's length. Uh, so the run dates there are Monday through Friday in July. So July 7th, or sorry, July 10th to July 14th. Sign up for that closes on July 5th. Uh, we did try to incentivize it a little bit more by uh, giving a bigger cash prize for each of those five days. So there's one guaranteed winner of $2,000 uh, each day that this campaign does run. We provide the contest execution, the rules, all applicable winner information, paperwork, and um, the generic images there. So you can announce keywords to your audience for a chance for a chance for them to win two thousand dollars daily. Now, something I thought of as I was creating this slide and kind of reminiscing on some of the feedback that we got last year is you could use this summer cash contest to piggyback your own cash contest. So let's say you run the dates between this, uh, the seven, or the 10th through the 14th, but you're not limited to stop there. If you want to you know, piggyback off of our prize for that first week and then uh, set up some subsequent weeks um, for this cash contest, then you could actually generate your, your own summer cash contest giveaway um, and, and utilize this and use it to kind of springboard uh, your own summer cash contest. So you can use our period to be the ramp up period and then build your own. Now, if the countdown application is something that you don't have access to, you'll still be able to utilize our cash, summer cash contest using the countdown app. But if it's something that you're interested in continuing on with, then we would be happy to take a look at your account and see if that's something additional that, that we could offer you. So Again, we are keeping it at that week, uh, week length, but uh, week long length. But um, if you'd like to use it as a springboard and run your own, by all means, uh, we could definitely help you strategize there. So just some thoughts around that based on last year's feedback of this contest. Of course, the sign up is available at ideas.audience.io. So if you navigate there, you'll be able to uh, register for these national campaigns. Okay, great. Let's jump into what I'd like to discuss today. And that is our reports tab. Before we get into the reports tab, I just want to mention a few items here about the power of insights. So when we talk about reports, we're also referencing insights. And this should all be 
common knowledge, but as a refresher, it's important as, as people who are managing uh, campaigns to really understand who your audience is. Now, as we rebranded to audience, we, we kind of came up with a slogan, I would say for lack of a better term, that uh, we say, you know, grow, enrich, and activate your data. So when we, when we talk about the power of insights, we're really looking at ways that you can see how your data is growing so up there at the top there. I wanted to put that under the grow envelope of our threefold mission here at Audience. So again, with these insights, know your audience, see where you should be focusing your attention. So if you're running campaign after campaign and it's just not taking off, but you see other areas that are doing a little bit better, whoops, let me uh, go back there, my apologies, um, then it'll help you understand where you should be focusing your attention. Um, and then it'll help you understand who is utilizing the tools at hand. And what I mean by that, for those of you who have several admins in the software, you can see who is working in the software, who isn't. So we're talking about admins, people who sign into audience to generate these campaigns. Um, so this, what I'm about to show you helps you understand who that is. And then of course, you'll be able to talk numbers with direct reports, or if you have direct reports underneath you, you'll know what kind of metrics to instruct your reports to uh, take a look at. So that's, a, that's an important piece that we should highlight here. And of course, it allows you to set goals and measure KPIs, those key performance indicators. What is it that you're really focusing on each quarter and each year? You can use our insight tools to assist with that. And then we can wrap that all up by helping us measure success. So let's talk about the reports tab. And as I talk about the reports tab, Austin is gonna pop up a poll asking who here even knows there's a reports tab um, or even utilizes this reports tab. Um, this is anonymous. So I was just curious to see that, uh, you know, how much this tab gets utilized here. So it looks like uh, the majority do see it or or know about it. Um, some of you don't, oh, it looks like it's evening out just a little bit here. So uh, for those of you who do utilize the reports tab uh, during this presentation, I'd like to hear some of the feedback that you have regarding our reports tab. Like I said, I want this to kind of be interactive and, and uh, help us uh, maybe make this better as a whole. So, and then for those of you who who don't utilize it or didn't know it was there, then, uh, you know, uh, be thinking the same, what's going to work for you? And hopefully there are some tools that we have already that work for you. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here. Looks like we had 72% participation. So thank you for that. Um, all right, let's jump into, oh, there we go. I'll share the the results there. So let's first talk about some of the reports that you have access to, one of them being audience insights. This is going to help you understand who your audience is and what type of uh, participation you're receiving on your campaigns. Um, I pulled up a snapshot here, and this is showing some total users for an account. Um, and then also uh, you know, we're coming towards the end of March, so it's showing some users gained uh, in the last 28 days, so a nice little 1% increase there. And then users engaged as well. And we'll jump into this and show you where to find it and uh, if, if you're not familiar and what each of these numbers mean. But as you look down, you can see the different connections and how people are connecting with your audience based on different uh, campaign tools that you have access to. Also, we have our platform insights. Now, this one is used mostly for internal purposes. Um, this tells you as an admin, you know, how many active promotions a campaign has run, um, how many entries they're getting, how many, you know, contests, sweepstakes, galleries are being set up. And you can also compare them to previous uh, time period. So if you look, showing stats from February 1st to February 28th, um, and it's being compared to January 1st to January 
28th there. So there's a nice uh, almost 50% gain in active promotions um, as far as admins active go. I don't know why that one's zeroed out uh, without digging in a little deeper, but it looks like there was a nice um, increase on total entries, 37% um, on, on this account here. All right, so while we, let me jump into the admin because there's a lot more to talk about here. So let me go ahead and pull up my screen. You should be able to see I'm now in one of our demo accounts and we're going to jump in to the reports tab. Now, as we do across the top here, depending on what you have access to, um, you should be seeing what I see when you click on your reports tab. Um, but I just wanted to find some of the, the terms here throughout reporting. So what we just looked at was the audience tabs. So this is gonna tell you some information um, based on what your audience is doing here. And let me pull this back up and jump back into reports here. So we have our audience tab here. So that's that number that we were just looking at. My numbers are a little bit less impressive than what we were just looking at, but uh, this is gonna give you those insights across your, uh, your, your network. Now, if you're a singular account, then it's just gonna tell you what's going on in your account. But if you have multiple accounts, so we call these parent-child relationships, in the, in the broadcast media world, you know, market accounts, station accounts, um, it's, it's all the same, but you'll see across your network, if you have a network account, um, how the different rank, rankings go. So we have market rankings, station rankings, substation rankings, and so forth. So it looks like uh, the one that's pulling in the numbers recently based on this time frame here is our sports contests. Uh, we, so that would be either a uh, pro football challenge or, of course, we have uh, basketball mayhem going on right now. So it looks like it's pulling in a few numbers there. Um, you can set time frames to pull these stats, your custom date, and then you can see your rankings by engagement percentage, total engagement, users engaged, total users, and users gained. And when we talk about users, we're talking about end users there. So... If you manage a network uh, account or account with parent-child relationships, these are valuable numbers to see how each individual account is doing. Uh, maybe there's some count, uh, challenges or some KPIs you can set based on some of these numbers. So you could see some of your, your less performing accounts, um, see what they're doing and see what you can do to perf uh, boost performance there. So then under platform insights, again, this is gonna give you um, more of your internal information, you know, uh, how many active promotions are being built. Um, you know, I'm down 50% from the comparison that we have preset here. Um, how many admins are active? So that's gonna be how many people are logging in. So, you know, if, again, if you have an account and you wanna boost usage um, on one of your, uh, report accounts or your station accounts, you can take a look at the admins active and, and, you know, ping them and say, hey, it looks like you haven't been utilizing the tool. Well, under the platform insights, this is going to give you that number. Of course, we do wrap up some entries across the network as well. And based on the apps that you have access to, it's going to tell you the different types of promotions uh, that have been running. And then, of course, we do also share some rankings um, under the platform insights. And under rank by, you have the opportunity to rank by how many promotions have been set up or admin activity or total entries. So that's gonna switch uh, your different uh, key performance indicators based on those ranked by. So I just wanted to, I know I shared some of those screenshots with you earlier in this presentation, but I did wanna show you uh, where I were, was pulling those from for those who aren't familiar with the reporting tab. Okay, so now let's jump to the account. And let me back all the way out and uh, let's, let's show you exactly what happens when you click the reports tab. It's first gonna take you into the accounts tab. 
And my plan here is to just kind of go through each one, um, not in super detail, but give you an idea of what each tool does for you and, and the different measurements that you can pull from here. So when you first click the reports tab, it takes you to the account tab. Now, when we're in this tab, um, and let me just distinguish this, if you have access to an account that has child accounts under it, um, then you'll have the opportunity to pull stats from the network stats tab. But when we're in this account tab, this is only talking about the account that we're directly logged into. So in my case, at the top here, it says audience. So it's only going to reference the audience account under this account tab. So this, so each report is going to tell me something a little bit different. So under promotions live, we have fetches numbers of promotions that were live at some point during the time frame. So we have these preset time frames here, so you can pull from the week, the month, the quarter, and the year. So as long as you've had an account with us, that's going to give you your year total. So if I were to pull for 2023 and hit fetch report, this is going to tell me I haven't been doing much on this account. Um, now, of course, this is going day by day. So a little handy feature we have here, you can sort by time frame it as well. So if you don't want to look at it by day, if you're running a big report, then this is going to give me by month. Of course, nothing has been run in the future here, but it looks like I've only ran one gallery and three sports applications um, on, on this account here. And um, yeah, um, you also have a few filter options. So you can filter by the type of contest that has been set up. So if, uh, if this was a syndicated contest, you can choose between all the contests that, or, or sorry, uh, if there was syndicated contest built on your account, you can choose between syndicated or not syndicated campaigns. Um, you can check your promotion performance based on different app types here. Again, you have some filter options. And based on what we're trying to pull, that filter by uh, will show some limited options um, there. So new users are required. Again, we're talking about users, um, people who are entering your contest. So if you need to know how many users have entered this audience account based on a specific time frame, again, you can group it by month or day. Um, and then the only option for the filter there is group by time frame. So that's going to tell us that information. And then user actions breakdown. Um, now, what we're talking about this is, or what we're talking about here, is this fetches totals for common user actions in the network during a time frame. So let's go ahead and do a month and then take a look at the year of 2023. This is going to tell you different. Um, Form fields. Well, this is handy if you're wondering how your different form fields that you add to your contests or giveaways or sweepstakes um, are performing. So if you've added the visit a site form field, watching a video, downloading an app, bonus keywords, Facebook likes, gallery submissions, and so forth. We've picked some of the most general ones, and you're able to see how that performance uh, of those form fields um, are doing. So that just helps you get some numbers there. So again, under the account tab, we're only talking about the reference to uh, that account itself. Under the network tab, now this is where we dive into the accounts that ha have access to run campaigns across multiple accounts. So again, that parent-child relationship. Um, and you have a lot more options here because that can tell a bigger story. So uh, under network for pr promotion usage, this fetches the number of promotions in a network that were live at some point during our set time frame over here on the right-hand side. But you have a lot of different filter options here. So you can filter by a parent app ID. Now, what does this mean? So let's say you're running a campaign and you make it available to all of your accounts across your network and you want to see where it's been installed, um, you can take a app ID. And let me just back out for those of you who might not be familiar where to find that. 
Let's take a look at our basketball mayhem. The app ID is actually up in the URL of your campaign. So then I can jump back into reports, filter by, whoops, I'm sorry, in network stats. Sorry for the bouncing around here. Parent app ID, I can paste that in and run my report here. Uh, I don't know what my results are gonna be here. It looks like based on that app ID, none of my child accounts ran that. So this is handy if you manage a bunch of different uh, accounts underneath your parent account. This is gonna tell you exactly where specific campaigns have been added um, across your network. Again, we have all sorts of different uh, filter options here. Parent app ID, syndication, you know, yes or no. Basically app type. Um, so you can choose by the different apps that you have access to. Um, you could do it based off of account number or a child of um, a specific account number as well. Um, and then you have options to group by, again, app type or account. So that's gonna tell you how you want that information displayed. Now with each report that you run, you can also download a CSV of that as well. Again, as you're taking a look at this, um, and if you've ran reports in the past, again, I'd love to hear your feedback. Feel free to throw that in the chat where we have Austin recording that information. Um, under the network promotion list, this fetches promotion information of syndicated promotions ran on child accounts. So you can, uh, pick your app type if it's a sweepstakes and you want to see how it did in Q1 of this year, you can fetch that report and it's going to tell you the, uh, the network promotion list. So it's going to tell you what types of contests ran um, and uh, where they were syndicated to and a little bit um, about the contest. Also, um, it, it's, it's hard to see, but... Uh, this will, if you click hosted URL, um, this is a link to the U link to that specific contest. So you can check to see if that's directing to a website or um, just the audience landing page. So um, you do, you can check that feature under the network promotion list report. Um, network promotion installs, this fetches whether accounts have installed promotions during a time frame. So you have your same. Um, filter type has installed, yes or no, that one is additional to the network promotion installs, and you can have it grouped by account and app type as well. So if I want to see that, we can see who has installed or ran. The word um, install just means, you know, you've activated a campaign. This will tell you whether or not they've done that at all during a specific time frame. So again, this kind of tells a bigger story here. Um, net syndicated promotion referrals. This one came by request from one of our partners here. They wanted to see how referral entries were doing. So for those of you who run contests or sweepstakes that have referral entries, if you throw in the app ID of that syndicated contest, that's going to tell you how, I guess, viral, for lack of a better term, this contest went because it will tell you how many um, referrals uh, the contest received by people sharing it, again, based across a specific time frame. there. Syndicated promotion performance fetches numbers of entries received from a syndicated promotion for accounts in network during the time frame. So you can throw in your, your syndicated contest and see how it did and how it performed there as well. Of course, you can see how many new users have been acquired across a network. Um, you can filter that by account or time frame, um, or excuse me, you can group it by time frame. So you can do daily or monthly, and then of course you could pull in a full year, a quarter, a month. Um, if you do a week, then of course I think daily would be the better option for time frame there. So if we just pick a random week, I don't think it's going to tell us anything, but that'll give you the days of the week versus trying to lump it into one month there. So that, that allows you to get a little more granular. And then network user action breakdown, that's gonna tell you across the network what types of actions people are taking across your campaigns. Again, those uh, visit URLs, downloading apps, uh, following on Instagram, uh, those type of user breakdowns there. So again, just for reference, I'll pull that. I'll give you an idea of some of those uh, 
form field options. Again, you can see how you can download the report as a CSV or print report, and you can generate a PDF off of that print pop-up there. Um, network admin login. So if you want to check and see how your uh, group is doing as far as log logins go and see what areas uh, that could improve, you have access to, to run that as well. Um, you can also filter it by uh, greater than or less than, so you can see who your champions are. So if their logins, let's say, are greater than 10 in a month, you could classify them as a champion of the software, and it's going to give you um, a list of, of accounts that have those greater logins than 10. And then network active promotion, pretty self-explanatory. It just fetches a list of promotions active in a network that were live at some point during our set time frame. So uh, this one is filtered by week or month. And then you have your year dates. Um, I believe we'll add quarter and year as well. But uh, for now, you can pull that off of, off of your months here. So just wanted to give you a, a breakdown, show you everything that you have access to um, in regards to reporting. If for some reason you don't have that reporting uh, tab added to your account, please let us know. Just write into support and let us know there um, if you don't have access and we can quickly add that to your account. So to wrap things up here, thank you all so much for your patience. Again, that's uh, you know the the threefold mission here at Audience. Uh, I wanted to highlight the grow portion of that. So I believe that reporting falls under that. So that'll help you understand better how to enrich and activate your zero and first party data. If you have any questions, we have our live chat. It's available from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern. Again, our support email is support at audience.io. Um, our phone number 801-901-2011. And again, this is recorded and hosted at help.audience.io. You'll see a webinar section there. So.